Jumpin', 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 them boys out to something. They just spent like two or three weeks out the country. You know that song sucks, right? I mean, it's pretty weak. I know that the title says Jumpman, I know that Drake is the guy that's on it, but it's a wax song. Sorry guys. The beat's dope though, I gave it that. Anyways, as for the shoe, Laney 14's dropped today. This is one of my favorite 14's. Actually, I don't think there's a bad 14 colorway. I've always been a fan of the low top 14. Not many people have, I don't really know why. Um, I think that they look great. And I wasn't even planning on grabbing these just because, you know, retros are expensive now. So it's like, I don't wanna grab like every single pair. Plus this month is packed with performance shoes that I have to go and pick up for performance reviews. But I was at Foot Locker and they brought them out. This is, this is last week and they showed the shoe to me and I was like, yo, these look sick. So. I had to grab a pair, man. I just, I fucking had to. As for the shoe though, quality, craftsmanship, at least on my pair, everything's on point. They don't look exactly like the original. I'll show you the originals right here, but they're pretty darn close. Something that I keep hearing people complain about though is, is the midsole here, the little like shiny pieces, the teeth, that they're like yellowish or pearlized and stuff. That's how they were originally. And that was my one complaint about these guys is that these were supposed to look like this one's midsole. That's the way that the shoe was meant to be. So all these younger cats complaining about you know the yellow look and everything y'all weren't around back in 1999 guys this is the way they're supposed to look if anything they muted the yellow a little bit because the originals were just a slightly more bit yellow than what these guys are showing but up close to the shoe you can clearly see that these guys are gorgeous of course there's some minor scuffs and things like that but hey it's Jordan brand what do you expect I just love the way that they made their lows just a little bit different but they're still the same shoe uh, they don't look like a low top to me though when you're looking at it from the side they still look like a mid I don't know why but that's just what I see but I'm not complaining I'm just just saying got that jump man on the toe a uh, decent material here as well and I just love the way that the blue looks you got the yellow Jordan bar right there XIV on the inside bang bang yellow tail lights as well as the Ferrari logo check out the air scoop I actually made this one a little bit bigger they carved it out a little bit more than the last retro XIV one more time bang bang all that herringbone yellow jump man on the shank and hopefully you guys could see what I was talking about with the slight yellow tint stark white slightly yellow this is the way they're supposed to be and I think they look dope so that pretty much takes care of it hopefully if you guys wanted a pair you were able to grab a pair I believe I saw them on eastbay.com still but finish line they were all sold out and unfortunately they were only available in men's sizes which I think sucks I wish that they were available for kids because I would have grabbed my kid a pair but again that'll pretty much take care of it thank you guys for watching so until next time guys have a good one. One, wait. Yo, what's good guys? Thank you guys for watching. Yo, what's good guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you appreciate the fuck. Yo, what's good guys? Thank you guys for watching. Fuck. One. <laughs> Yo, what's good guys? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Make sure that you check out weartesters.com. Link is gonna be straight up above. All you gotta do is click the, the Wear Testers banner. All of your sneaker news, sneaker performance reviews, and product reviews are gonna be over there. So if you need anything, check out weartesters.com. Make sure to check out that subscribe button right over here. Go ahead and click that, greatly appreciated. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram right over here, which is where I'm most active, at Nightwing2303. You can also follow Wear Testers at Wear Testers on both of those social platforms as well. Make sure you check out all of the latest video content below. You can check out the latest performance review, the latest Nightwing nose, the latest Wear Testers trash talk, and just my latest pickup or review, or maybe it's an unboxing, who knows. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed everything. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all your support so until next time guys have a good one try it you might end up really liking it a molded micro mesh is used along the entire upper with a few synthetic layers everybody should be able to play in yet nobody can because the thing never dropped so it have just been a huge waste of time on my my part and this some, blue some water shoes or something i would even take those weird finger shoes or put the spider-man foam pods which is dope so it doesn't feel like i'm just being constricted and stuff but i actually like how these fit uh and i like